Hey y'all, happy Thursday for you. It's Wednesday for me, so midway through the week, it is time to get the house cleaned back up. I have been cleaning a lot more often lately, so our house isn't really messy, but there are things that need to be done or else it's just going to accumulate more dust and stuff like that. So we're actually gonna start in the back of our mobile home today. Normally I start in our bedroom or our kitchen, but today I wanted to start back there because that is the area that I clean the least. Because by the time I start cleaning this side and work to the living room, I'm like, okay, I'll do the other uh, other half another day and then the other day never comes. So I'm gonna start in the bed, um, bathroom, my goodness. <laughs> So since I only clean my house once or twice a week, I like to do basically like a weekly clean every time I do clean. And today we did happen to clean the entire house except for um, Aaron's office area because of all of our home project stuff in there. It is just kind of like our dumping ground for all of our projects. Um, so that's why y'all see so many project videos because we are just working through all the things. Um, speaking of things, we are putting up two new light fixtures in place of the two old ones that we have in the kitchen. And I cannot wait to show y'all how that comes out. It's going to be so much fun. So we'll do that a little bit later. Actually, after I get done with this room, that is where we're going to head to next. But, um... <laughs> I notice I have my mouth open. <laughs> That's funny. I don't remember to like breathe through my nose. But I'm just using one of those like Clorox wipes up here, especially because it is right above the toilet. And then I also went in and wiped down the back of like the wall where those tiles are with a Clorox wipe too. So I did get some feedback that the music is too loud. So today I have it on 
negative 22, whatever that means. Normally I have it on negative 15. Um, and then obviously like the normal, like my voice that y'all hear is just a zero. But I actually turned up my voice a little bit today. Um, so hopefully the audio is good. I think that's as good as I can get it without like making it too quiet. Um, so that was what I decided to do. And then secondly, I do have less of that like house dance style music. But honestly, a lot of you said, don't be a people pleaser. Just keep doing your thing. Most of us like the music. So... Uh, I, honestly, like a lot of these songs are very similar to what I've been doing. They're just not as like, we're at the club, you know? <laughs> but when I watch videos, I honestly don't even watch. I'll probably watch for about five minutes and then I am up cleaning stuff or cooking or doing something because they just motivate me. So that's why I like to play the upbeat music because I know a lot of people that watch these videos also watch them to get motivated and um, encouraged to be productive. So that is why I play the upbeat music and I just wanted to thank y'all for reminding me that I do not have to please everybody but I do try my best to um, you know have happy customers if that makes sense so hopefully the audio being a little bit quieter today is a good meet in the middle so i'm just taking everything out of here so that we can vacuum and mop in this room and then we are going to vacuum and mop in the hallway and then we'll be going into the kitchen to do the lighting Okay, y'all, so I have always used a Swiffer mop, the green one that you just buy the, um, they look like giant baby wipes, basically, that you put onto it. Y'all know what the Swiffer is. Anyways, so I had been using that since I was 18. This, on the other hand, I recently got, it's an O-Cedar mop, and I like it so much more than the Swiffer because the the cleaning product is in that bottle so and then the pad itself is washable it's just like a cloth material or like a, a towel material um and i like that it's double-sided so i can halfway through if i want to if one side is really dirty i can just go ahead and flip it over and then just keep on cleaning and i don't have to change out a pad and then also because the cleaning product is in that bottle, um, you can just like squirt as you go and then you don't have to change out the disposable ones more often because before I could mop maybe a bathroom and then I would go ahead and get another mop pad because it, they just don't stay very wet. So I really like this one because you can actually control how much moisture you need on the floor to clean with um i haven't tried it on my walls but i'm sure you could use it on your walls too anyway also with the swiffer if i wanted to mop the kitchen say and then i also wanted to mop my bedroom well i would have to do them one after the other or else i would have to switch out the pad and with this one i could mop one area and then wait hours to mop another one because of all of the cleaning product is in that tube so if my mop pad dries out it's no big deal because i can just re-wet it if that makes sense it's just super convenient i'll have a link down below in the description box if y'all are interested all right y'all sorry about the air conditioner i'm interrupting 
We're about to clean the office, but okay, actually I'm gonna turn the light on and I'll show y'all up close. So here's our old light fixture and here is the new one. This one's so much brighter because it has two bulbs in it and the lid is clear. This one had one bulb. Those lights are super bright. They totally changed the look of our kitchen. I'm so excited to have them also because I think the like shades that we had before um, made our daylight bulbs look kind of blue, like have a like a really fluorescent hospital clinic look to them or shade to them. And now, even though they're still they're still daylight bulbs, which is what we prefer. Um, it's like a, a softer, it's not that sick, like hospital looking light, if that makes sense. So, so happy with that change. It's like a subtle change, but it is so, um, so worth it. So I'm using the, I'm pretty sure it's a pear scent. Actually, it's right beside me. Um, yeah, pear blossom agave from Caldrea. It's a countertop cleaner. And um, then I'm also using Windex on any of the mirrors that y'all see me clean today. And then in the diffuser, I've got to add some water to it. And I just have been using orange essential oil. I have so many oils and orange is always the one I gravitate towards. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions.
again, all this stuff moved over to one side of the room. That way I can vacuum. And then I'll move it all to the side that I vacuumed. And then vacuum the other side of the room. And I'm going to do the same thing when I go to mop. And the cleaner I'm using in the mop um, bottle, it is water. And then I think it's like one tablespoon or one capful, something like that, of the Zep floor cleaner. I don't know why I thought earlier we had already cleaned the hallway, but we are cleaning the hallway. I'm moving this pee pad. Yes, there's a spot on it, but also it's a little dog, so she uses it more than once. And then normally once she's used it twice, that's when I'll check it. Um... It has been really rainy, but I did take her out multiple times today. I think some people just think that um, she just uses pads, but we do take her outside. Also, somebody was like ruthless to me um, <laughs> the other day. I blocked them. Don't worry. You always tell me to block people, so I do. Um, <laughs> but they said... um. Why in the world would you put a pad next to that rug? It's a brand new rug. And you know you would think logically it would make sense if a dog had used the rug that you would put a pad there. So then the dog could go on the pad instead of the rug. That's why I did that. <laughs> because I would rather her go on a piece of paper than on the rug. Which thankfully this rug is washable i can take it to the laundromat so is it weird to be excited to go to the laundromat and do that but i am i haven't been in one in a long time and i know they have those like giant washing machines so um that is what i plan to do also it has some sort of like coating on it where it will repel any kind of spills or liquid that gets on it, which is really nice. Um, 
so it doesn't like absorb fully you can just take a paper towel and then wipe it up and we always use the resolve foam it's like resolve pet expert it is like five or to seven dollars a can but it is so good if you have an older dog that has accidents um it's really nice Yesterday, before I did my accent wall, I folded these two loads of laundry. So, we're going to put them up later on in this video. But for now, I'm just going to take them towards the laundry area. That way, I can finish up the living room. Something I do when I am cleaning is... Um, it probably is because I film also. So, I don't have to edit as much. But, I will just carry things with me until I get to the room that they belong in. So if there was something that was in my office, I may just bring it to the living room and set it on the TV stand and then say it goes in my bedroom. <laughs> I knocked over the ladder. <laughs> it's like I knew it was there, but it just didn't click that when I was moving the chair, I was going to fall over and it did. So that was Aaron coming in. <laughs> To see what had happened. Anyway, um, I'll just kind of like take things with me. And then once I get to the room they actually belong in, that's when I'll put them up. That way I'm not having to like walk from one end of the house to the other end multiple times. I can just go at once. I just have a few dishes to do today. Erin and I keep up with the dishes now a lot more than we were, especially because it is springtime and we get ants. I set out another one of those tarot. Um, I think that's what it's called. T-E-R-R-O, something like that. Anyways, I set it out um, in the kitchen and a lot of them went to bed. So, I have not seen many ants for the rest of the day. And that's definitely motivating us to keep our dishes clean. <laughs>
we went to Family Dollar today and I grabbed me a little bathtub plug. It actually came with a sink plug too, only for $2. Y'all, Family Dollar has good prices. I would dare to say they may be more affordable than Dollar General. Also, look how cute this is. It came in the mail and I'm so excited to put it on my steering wheel because yes, that steering wheel is deteriorating. <laughs> from the sun beating down on it um anyway so i'm just getting things cleared off we had this little tool set right here uh from when we were putting the light fixtures up y'all i'm so proud of aaron because i was nervous he changed out the wires and everything you know um and i was so scared but i prayed beforehand and everything was fine None of us got fried, thankfully. <laughs> so now I'm sure he's more confident in like switching out lights and stuff. And we have a ceiling fan. Um, I think he's going to put it in his office. We're going to get some sort of, uh, some kind of like block, I think, to make the, the ceiling not meet at the middle. Because you know in a trailer it's like a, a A or upside down V. So we'll fix that. Um, and then we can put our little ceiling fan up. We did hook it into the light fixture since we had already kind of taken that apart. And I cannot wait for y'all to see it um, once we do get it hooked up to the ceiling. Because y'all are probably going to drop your jaws. It is so pretty. And the way it lights up and everything. It literally looks like a diamond ring on the ceiling. Also, that little thing in between the cabinets fell off <laughs> because when we were installing the new faucet, neither one of us could really fit well in between one of the cabinet doors. So we took that thing apart. That way we could just get up underneath there without getting stuck because I was able to get in, but it was very hard for me to get out. So now that everything's cleared off, I'm just taking the one I had in this room was the Caldrea and it's the lavender scent. So I was using that countertop cleaner on the table and then every surface in the kitchen. And then after this, I'm going to vacuum and mop. Y'all, it feels so good for all my floors to be clean because they get dirty so fast.
I recently got this uh, silicone wax melt holder and then the sage and citrus Yankee candle. It smells amazing, y'all. I've had it going for two days now. But this is what the living room and the kitchen look like all cleaned up. So relieved to have a clean house. Um, I... I was kind of surprised with myself that I got the whole house clean. I think starting in that bathroom instead of starting in my bedroom, it kind of like reset me. So I didn't make the habit of stopping once we got done with the living room. So maybe next time I'll start in the bathroom too. And also I did take a lot of breaks in between. So I'm taking the fitted sheet off because Chloe had spit up on here. Um, <laughs> I'm also playing with Lucy. The cats aren't really allowed in our room, um, when we're not in there because they do like to scratch at furniture. So, and we have like the kind of like upholstery, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> look at her. Um... They're not allowed in our room all the time, but for these little instances, I figured she'd be a good helper. We freed it from the claws. So I'm just putting a, another fitted sheet on that is clean so that I can wash the other fitted sheet. But what I was saying is I'm not going to change out the pillowcases or the just flat sheet because I recently changed our bedding. I normally wash our sheets every two weeks and it's only been one week. So I figured I would let the rest of it stick around for a week. I know when God made me, he definitely made me to be an animal mama because I love these precious animals, Chloe, Margaret, and Lucy. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite, so I'm not going to say a favorite, but um, yeah, love, love my babies. <laughs> um, let's just say there's something about the youngest one, okay? I don't know if that's with all, you know, but there's something about the, the little like baby energy from Margaret that just gets me. She makes me want to have another kitten so that I can just see it, you know, see them grow all over again. Because Margaret is turning into a full blown cat and I'm not ready for it. I would like her to stay smaller. Y'all, a little hack. I don't know if this is a hack or not. I didn't intentionally do this, but I took my fake eucalyptus that y'all see in that like little triangle planter. And I just spread it out 
And every time I look at it now, I'm like, oh, it looks like ferns. <laughs> By the way, I got two beautiful hanging baskets for outside. And now I'm like, okay, do I want to put some ferns in them? I, I'm definitely going to have some ferns this year. I've never had ferns. And every time I see them at my local grocery store, I just want to get some. And I have a pretty big flower find going. So... <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait um, for payday. I sound like so real right now because don't we all? I remember getting paid bi, bi weekly when I worked at Sally's. And y'all, here's the thing about working at a place like Sally Beauty you spend almost your whole check in that store because the whole two weeks that you go without a check, all I was doing was like, oh, I'm going to buy this hair dye. I've had every color of the rainbow, y'all. Um, I'm going to get this nail polish. And, oh, wow, we got these new, like, seasonal gift sets in. I want to get one of those. And then $100 later, and it's like, what happened? And then we were next door to Walmart. So I would go over to Walmart and buy Erin and I some gr groceries. And um, I would always end up leaving with, like, a nightgown or something like those big t-shirt ones that have the like graphic on it and then sometimes I would get like the tank tops with the shorts anyways I was a pajama girly I loved buying pajamas <laughs> because I, honestly like at the time I was doing Sally's and then also I was doing Poshmark so I wasn't really you know I only worked maybe like four times a week. So the days I didn't work, I would just be at home sharing my Poshmark closet in my pajamas. <laughs> Drinking my coffee out of my tumbler that's the size of a Grand Canyon, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hanging up the clothes. I don't even know what I was talking to y'all about. Oh, flowers. They look like ferns to me and I, it is inspiring me. To go out and get some ferns. I just haven't decided where I'm going to go yet. I don't know. Like I typically do not get my stuff at Walmart. I always go to Tractor Supply and Lowe's. But where do y'all like to go to get your flowers? Um, and your like seedlings. Do you go to like a Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart or do you go to somewhere local? Because I, I'm curious what the price difference is between supporting like a locally owned business versus going to a Lowe's. Because I think um, if, if I haven't, you know, it would be really nice to support somebody that's local. So I may need to google in my area and see what kind of nurseries yeah that's what they're called nurseries we have around here for all i know it may be even more affordable than going to a lowe's or a tractor supply i know tractor supply is honestly probably the worst place to go y'all um if you buy like two two flower pots you're gonna walk out with spending like at least fifty dollars <laughs> don't ask me how i know this
All right, so my room spray in my bedroom and my bathroom are is the Pink Sand by Yankee Candle. I've had this little spray for over a year now, and I paid like $5 for it. Such a good deal because it lasts forever. I don't spray it every day. I normally spray it just like when I do a house clean, so maybe a couple of times a week. Um, so now the last place we're going to do is this laundry area. So I'm just sorting the dirty laundry that I have gathered, which is not a ton. It's just um, like towels and all of those. Uh, microfiber cloths that y'all see me clean with the mop pad things like that and then the other one it just had a, maybe like two or three days worth of whatever we wore the past few days so I'm going to get all of the clothes in the washing machine and get that started and then I can do the towels and all of that together tomorrow i don't always sort things you know like if i have maybe just a handful of clothes and a handful of towels but i have enough to do a load of laundry i'll go ahead and do them together but if it's been a couple of days and i have enough to separate them and do two loads of laundry then that's what i'll do so it just depends on the day Alright y'all, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all back here tomorrow for some more home projects. Bye!